We are seeing a great awakening, a national movement of we the people brought together by what unites us, a shared love of liberty and an understanding of the unlimited potential of free men and free women. I want to tell you a love story. It's the story of all of us. It's a love story of freedom. It's the story of our founding fathers who fought and bled for freedom and then crafted the most miraculous political document ever conceived, our Constitution. The framers understood that our rights come not from monarchs, but from God. And that those rights are secure only when government power is restrained. It's the story of the brave Texians in the city of Gonzales when General Santa Ana demanded that they hand over their guns and the cannon that guarded their city. They responded with the immortal cry, come and take it. It's the story of the greatest generation who rose in front of the grotesque evil that was the Nazis and who ushered in the greatest era of peace and prosperity the world has ever seen. It's the story of civil rights pioneers like Dr. Martin Luther King who stood up to the scourge of discrimination and bravely championed that each of us must be judged not by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character. It's the story of President Ronald Reagan, who turned back the growth of government and restored mourning in America. Who stood up against the oppressive evil of communism and demanded, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. It's the story of my mom, Irish and Italian, working class, the first in her family ever to go to college. She became a pioneering computer programmer in the 1950s. It's the story of my father, imprisoned and tortured in Cuba, beaten nearly to death. He fled to Texas in 1957, not speaking English, with $100 sewn into his underwear. He washed dishes, making 50 cents an hour, to pay his way through college and to start a small business in the oil and gas industry. My father is here today. When he came to America, él no tenía nada, pero tenía corazón. He had nothing, but he had heart a heart for freedom, 